Hi, this is our first day working on, on the Alto. I have a couple of friends here and me dressed for the occasion. So today is going to be the first day where we try to uh, power up something in the Alto. And uh, we'll do that very progressively. Uh, so the cars have been reinstalled, but we won't power up any of them. We will disconnect them and we will concentrate on the power supplies at the back of the machine and uh, turn them on actually one at a time and not connected to the cars but connected to this it's a dummy load made with power resistors that I just uh, made and we won't also uh, put 110 volt all of a sudden on them we'll use this contraption instead uh, which will uh, allow us to very gently raise the voltage from 0 volts to 110 or even 120 if we wanted to over voltage it which I won't do uh, and that will allow the uh, capacitors to uh, heal gently if they were a little dry and uh, we of course will monitor the voltage and if that turns out good uh, we'll look at the ripple make sure uh, everything is filtered and regulated properly and uh, we have actually four units to test in turn uh, and actually this one is a double unit so we have actually five uh, power supply voltages to check so are you ready? is it filming? Uh, no this is not on, we'll yeah, it. yeah it's recording and then we have this one right and, and this is all and uh, we have the load right yes. here okay should see the fan start spinning as he gets up. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. There they go. Just starting to move. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Nothing on the power supply though. Uh, there we go. Five volt. Oh Oops. no. There you yeah, go. It should get to fifteen. It, when you get into full power. 15, there you go. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, uh, no, it, it has a dip. Oh, 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 so this one is... Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's not happy. It's not happy. Maybe it's, just because it's uh, warming or so something. No, no, exactly. some, something is not good here. Okay. That one's hot. No, 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 something's not right with this one. Yeah. Okay, so this one has something okay. that's working. Check. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so off on the bench it goes. All right, go for it it's in the direction. So here's our friend, the power supply that we have pulled off. It's more involved than uh, I would have expected. All right. But oh, Ken told us about how it had those separate right. sections and what it was doing. Right, so. right. But we have, we have the schematics of it, right? And then uh, we have Ron Crane with us. Which uh, did, did you participate in design the power supply on on, on the Alto, Ron? Uh, I didn't design power supply. I mean, I designed power supply systems, uh, switching a lot mm -hmm. of switching supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, but not not that not that particular one. Not not, not these. I mean, they were basically high volume things that we right. put in our. Yeah, uh, right, uh, but but and, but you were you were at Xerox Park doing doing a uh, similar Xerox time, SDD. right? Right. Yeah. So oh, SDD. We're working on the uh, successor to the Alto, right? Yes. Oh, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, so here's the power supply disassembled. It's, it's quite modular. It came apart nicely. Uh, we didn't find anything uh, looking too catastrophic on visual inspection. If you a few traces that were corroded and that we fixed. Uh, yeah, so yeah, well, it's, where was it? Looking kind of burnt, but it's a repair, so that it shouldn't be functionally, should be okay. So I guess the caps are the next big one, and if not, we're going to have to test it with a scope. Alright. Okay, so the first uh, thousand microfarad capacitor is not a happy capacitor. 7, 7.7 .7 ohms and 
25 microfarads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Heck of a filter is that? So right. I, guess it, I guess basically it's just barely making it at uh, right. 100 milliamp. Volt. Right, that, that, that's why it, it only works at, at a few milliamps. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's an easy problem to solve. Let's test okay. the other one. Do, do you think we should test? And the, the second oh, one is, yeah, is even worse. <laughs> one, one microfarad is totally dead. Okay, well, one more. And do this guy. Capacitor. So, so this one is very happy. It's 4.2 millifarad of all things and 0.07 ohms. So we have at least one good capacitor, guys. I rejoice. So here we go to a beautiful new capacitors. They were not the exact same one, so we had to do a sort of acrobatic repair to make lugs and standoffs. But it fits at the place of the old ones. So we'll see if that works. So here we got our new supply, hopefully repaired, we don't know uh, yet. And uh, we look at the Ripple 2 and the voltage. Ready guys? Mm -hmm. Zero, so nothing should happen. And it takes about, there you go. There was something flickered. Yeah, yep, you oh, need to it move. makes some look noise. Ripple. Your ripple is up and now it's going down. You've got regulation. Good. Good. Okay. And now I'm, oh, now it's 15 volts, not working. 15, yeah, point 0.3, so you're going to have to. Okay, and then it's 110 now. There you go. So you're going to have to play with your little screwdriver to get the. Yep. It's a good power supply, I would say. Yes, yes. All right. So it certainly is acting like it should now, I'm sure. All right, it. so now get it back to 15 volts. And yeah, it's reacting now. Okay, we fixed it. Good. All right, fourteen point nine nine. Okay. Less than, less than and, then, 100 mil, 100 and then how far down do you have to turn the voltage for the before we start to see big ripple? Yeah. What's it melted? Yeah. It's 80. Same, same as the other ones. They, they just okay. at, at 80, they just go bad. Okay. Good. Okay, so I think we repaired it. Congratulations. Great. Good. All right. So Moving on to the disk drive unit. Uh, it slides out on its rails. And there is sort of an ominous sign here saying set screws okay. Old Plover Drive, whatever that means. No heads, July 86. Uh, clean heads, used. And align, 21st July 86. So either it has no heads, or if I read that correctly, it had no heads and somebody put some new ones and uh, replaced them and aligned them. Uh, which uh, would be of course much better and here it is with the cover removed and I think it's relatively clean much cleaner than I expected so that's pretty good news and, and this is the track counter it's on zero heads are retracted which is good it actually has heads so that's a big relief um, so that doesn't look too bad. So, uh, as you might know, this is a removable platter disc. Here's the 14 inch platter. So inside there should be a disc. And the way it works is that you slide that in. And this gizmo comes and opens the disc entrance and it's going to go right in between the two heads at the back. So here are the heads, the opener, the guy for the disc splatter, the, that's the motor. when the head slides in this catches on opens the container 
you can see the edge of the disc will go straight inside the two heads here we go I won't push it quite all the way I uh, won't do it quite yet instead now that the disc is open uh, we'll take a look inside and make sure it is actually very clean or we might actually disassemble it and clean it and to make sure we won't get a head crash which is the bane of this type of uh, disc and uh, the modern one of course are all sealed uh, to get rid of that problem it looks like we have hit a little snag here's our disc controller card mm -hmm. in the glory of its TTL and here's our disc was on top the uh, uh, so this platter was on top of the disc cable uh, so that plugs into the disk drive and that thing should plug into this if it were the correct interface but it's not so it looks like we have the uh, an unmatched disk uh, controller and uh, disk drive unit or this cable. So, so we have the Trident disk interface as you can see from the writing here oh, Okay. and it plugs into the, the colorful ribbon cables that go to the Tricon Disconnector on the outside of the Alton. Yeah, so we, so so we have the car that would go into that, which goes into a connector at the back. Yep. But that doesn't go into the Diablo. our Diablo here, which has the which is the other cable. So. Uh, okay. Mark. So, Ken. You'll find us another disk drive interface so card, right? We can trade this one in for the one we want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to reach to our good friends in Silicon Valley.